Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabble, where of course every day is a train show. We got Engineer Hall back. Are you excited? Hey guys. Oh, we're excited. We got some new things to look for tonight. Are you excited? Let's see it. Oh yeah. Uh, anyway, sure. we have not one, not two, not three, but four different diesels that we're going to check out today. It's an all diesel show. More power Saturdays. Or, what? what is that noise? I don't know. Probably nothing. Anyway, just when you thought it was safe to go back into the train store, we have some new items that we're going to be taking a look at, and we're going to get start. Anyway, we're going to get started with our first one for Broadway Limited. We're going to be taking a look at some sharks. Nah. What are you doing? I thought we were talking about sharks. I like sharks. We're going to take a look at the shark noses, the Baldwin diesel. I thought we were going to the aquarium. Let's take a look at the shark noses here from Broadway Limited here. All right. Now, I have four different variations for you to decide from. The first one is the Pennsylvania, and I like the antennas that the Pennsylvania engines always had on there. It's an A and a B unit. And I have another A and a B from the Baltimore and Ohio. That's a, paint scheme. Yeah, it's a great-looking paint scheme. Then I have here the New York Central. Very plain and basic, but still looks awesome. And probably my favorite paid scheme out of the bunch is the Delaware and Hudson. Now, what's different is the D&H actually never had a B unit, so Broadway Limited, this has individual A's for them. Now, let me explain. So, they sell these as regular kits. So, if you want to get an A, B set, we have that. But if you want to get just a powered A, we also have that. Or if you want to get the A, B, A, you're going to get that as well. The only one that doesn't have a B unit is the D and H because theoretically in history they never had one. Now the A's are powered, the B's are dummy, but these are just really great look at diesel locomotives. And check out all the detail that's happening inside of them. I got people driving them. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh running. Thank you. Thank you. See what happens when you're not here? I forget things. I just really like that. Check out the builder plate right there. That's really cool. Can you read that? Let's see that. See I can get it. Oh, yeah, we definitely can see Ooh. it. Yes, sir. If only we knew how to read. But anyway, this is a really great look at diesel engine. And since this is more power, whatever day you're watching in Engineer Hall, let's fire her up and see what it sounds like. All aboard. All right, so we had that Pennsylvania on the track. Let's hear what it sounds like. Let's fire it up, Engineer Hall. You ready? <laughs> We're running the train. We don't need your sound effects. <sighs> anyway, here we go. So anyway, as you can hear, awesome idle sound. Let's take a listen to the bell. Sweet. Horn? Ooh, I like that horn. Now, of course, the DAB unit is a dummy unit, but it does have lights on it. You just have to get it uh, hooked up to the sequence. Let's follow it up, shall we? Hey, should we highball this engineer hall? Let's run it. All born.
Now arriving, Jaws. Well, that is a great sounding diesel locomotive here, and we have it in multiple different variations. So if you want the two-pack, which just in involves the AB, we saw uh, they retail for $399.99, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $319.99. And if you just want the individual A, we're selling that. Uh, that re that retails for two ninety nine ninety nine, but we're selling them here at Yankee Devil for two thirty nine ninety nine for just the A. So it's a great deal to get on these engines. They look good, they sound good, and they invoke certain emotions in people um, that have affections for sharks. Do you want to go to the aquarium? Yeah. All right, I gotta take it to. The, uh, yeah. Okay. So come to Yankee Devil, get that. Uh, can we feed the otters? Um, Sorry, this guy back from the aquarium. I left Christian off with some uh, guy. Why? Why? Why didn't take me? I want to go. We have to film. We're talking. We're trying to sell things here. We're trying to show people about trains. Are focusing about the aquarium because you're doing shark nose. I want to see shark too. Okay. Anyway, we have some new engines that we're going to be taking a look at. And these are from Walters. These are actually the Walters Proto 2000 series. And these are SD45. So check out these puppies. These are really cool. So I have four, uh, three rather diesels and incredibly vibrant paint schemes. So I have the Penn Central black and white. Very vibrant. Yep. I have here the Southern, black and white. Very vibrant. And then I have here the Norfolk and Western, uh, black and white. Very vibrant. Very, yeah. very great colors to have. So, here. Nothing, nothing, nothing nice but a black and white engine. I mm. guess. A little gold straight right here. Yeah, gold, coming mm. from the guy that works for the company that has black and white engines. Hey. But these are really nice looking diesel locomotives here. Of course, as you can see, I have the high nose and the low nose versions. Now, which way do you think this goes? you think it goes that way or that way? It goes that way. Long hood forward? That yes. is correct, all right? Now, the way you can tell that is because the little man inside of there is going that way. Mm. Isn't that cool? And you know what that's uh, also about these engines is this is part of our Monday night closeout section. Really? Do you like saving money, Engineer Hall? Hey, the, the best the way I can save money is the best way I can. I well, like save guess money, yes. what? These engines retail for three nineteen ninety nine, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for one ninety nine ninety nine. Say what? One ninety nine ninety nine. From what? Three nineteen ninety nine. To what? One ninety nine ninety nine. Oh, uh, what day is it? Okay, we're. We'll work on your memory later because this is a great deal to work uh, to get on this engine. And on our website, Monday Night Close It, you can do that any day, all right? So let's hear what these engines sound like because I bet you they're going to sound awesome. Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. All right, let's fire her up. Let's hear the bell. Cool. Let's hear the horn. Ooh. I like that horn. Let's fire up. All aboard!
Now arriving, the Southern serves the South. You know what? That engine can serve your rear end if you get it today at yankeedownplay.com. So we got three awesome engines. Just check out that Monday Night Closeout tab. You see that SD45 on there? Okay. What's I mean, there's nothing better than that. Get that engine pulling trains on your rear end today. All right, Engineer Hall, do you want to take a look at a little tiny diesel? I like little diesels. All right, well, too bad because we're going to take a look at a big one. Wow, I'm a little one. Oh, uh, nope. Because Why? size matters. Check out this diesel locomotive here. This is the DD. Let's see if I get it correctly. This is the DDA 40X Union Pacific from Athner. Check out these edges here. So, so size does matter, you said? Yes, it does. Sorry. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's take a look at this diesel. Uh, this is an awesome looking engine here. We actually saw this when we went to the Illinois Railway Museum. They have one of these in their um, what are their sheds. And what's so cool about this thing is so big, I couldn't get a picture of it like fully. I had to really crop my camera in order to get a full version of this. But I have here two variations here. This is the Prime for Grime version. As you can see, it obviously looks like it's weathered. It's been out in the rails for a while here. All that gray and the yellow has faded. The red held out pretty good, but everything else looks like it has faded. It has definitely seen some use on the rails. This is the fresh out of the factory version, striking Union Pacific colors. I mean, the Union Pacific, you know, is really terrific. Yeah, it looks familiar. It's I, like a, I thought I've seen that somewhere recently. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know. And then what's really neat is Athern actually came out with another version here, and I kept it in the box. I don't really show boxes too much on the show unless they're really cool. Look at that box. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? So this is a bicentennial version, 1776 to 1976. I don't remember 1776, but Engineer Hall told me all about it. He said it was a crazy time, right? Keep going. Okay. So, but what's really neat about this set here is if I open it up, check this out. I have here the red, white, and blue version, and I have a caboose that goes with it, too. I love my cabooses, don't you? I know you like cabooses. Yep. Look at as, your face. Or as Ken would say, cabooses. Is, 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 is. So anyway, this... Oh, boy. He's... What would we say, Ken? Cabooses. Oh, boy. There you go. Oh, Jesus. All right. So anyway, this is a really neat look at diesel locomotive here. And it comes with a caboose. And we have our 250th anniversary of our country coming up. So this is going to be a really good engine to have pulling trains on your roster for that celebration. Now, these engines, we are selling them. They all have different prices because they all have different things you offer. So if you're looking at just a regular one with no prime for grime, no nothing like that, that one we're selling here at Yankee Dabba for $479.99. If you're looking for the prime for grime version, now it sounds for just a little bit more, we got that for $487.99. And then finally, if you want the awesome bicentennial one with the caboose, that one retails for $599.99. So I know they're a little pricey, but they're really big. They're really cool. I'm going to run one of them right now. So, Engineer Hall, which one do you want? Prime for Grime or a regular? I like Prime for Grime. All right, we're going to get some griminess happening here. So, all board. Let's get it fired up. All right, here is the bell. The horn. Ooh. That sounds hot. All board. Now arriving, the Union Pacific, Sherry's Terrific. That is an awesome sounding diesel locomotive here. It looks good. Now, obviously, you're not going to get that thing on sharp radius turns. You have to have wide radius turns to make that engine work. But I think it's a great looking diesel engine here. We have a couple different variations. Me, personally, I really like that Bicentennial one. So, I don't know, Engineer Hall, what do you think? Let's get all three of them. Uh, you could if you want the long engines. That would be a really long consist here. 
Actually, I think what you should do is get all three and then just put the caboose at the end. There you go. That works. That makes sense, right? All right, so come to Yankee Dev, like, get those engines rolling today because I know you're really all like them. So we're going to stick with the Union Pacific, and we're going to be taking a look at some heritage engines. we got a couple of uh, heritage engines in stock, again, from Athern. We're going to check out three of them. So check this out here. These are the ST70 ACEs. I have here the Southern Pacific one. That is a great look. I love that daylight colors, don't you, Engineer Hall? Looking nice. All right, now i got another great one here, the Rio Grande. And, boy, that one looks awesome. I just love the gray and the yellow and the black. That, that just looks so sharp. And then uh, this is the engine we actually have for a little bit, but I figured may as well just throw it into the mix here. This is the uh, Chicago Northwestern. Great-looking engine here. I really like the design of these engines here. Uh, I mean, there's something about these heritage engines, you know, NS, uh, Union Pacific, even CSX has gotten into the game lately with the heritage engines. And... I know Engineer Hall likes his black and white diesels, but look, when you see something that has a little bit more color, a little bit more difference as the cookie cutter, everything is painted exactly the same, I think it's really cool. Let's go into this Rio Grande here for a little closer inspection. I just like the detail that is happening on here. Look, the roller bearings actually roll when the wheels go, which is awesome. Look at the front of the engine. I mean, that is just... A face on your mother can no, love. No, that's a face everyone can love. What are you talking about? Mother can love. All right, well, your mom, maybe, but everybody else would love this thing. This thing, this looks awesome. Proud heritage, powerful future, building America. I mean, this is a great look at diesel locomotive here. So if you don't have any of these UP heritage engines, I think you definitely need one, especially if you're a UP fan. So let's fire up the Rio Grande and get rolling my train today. So this is a really nice diesel engine. If you notice, I have the ditch lights on, I have the number boards on, and I have the headlights going. Let's get our sounds going. Let's listen to that bell. Horn. Ooh. You like that one? So these engines retail for three fifty nine ninety nine, but we're selling here at Yankee Dollar for two eighty seven ninety nine. So it's a good deal to get on these engines. Truthfully, all these engines here were great deals. You know, I had a crazy idea, Engineer Hall. Talk to me. So we sell four engines today, you know. Yeah. And we all ran them individually. That is true. And why you look like that? No, 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 no. It's not that look. No, no. Oh, jeez, let's go. So we saw a lot of diesel engines on today's show here, so let's do a recap of what we saw. So from Walther's part of the Proto 2000 series, we had here these SD45s. 
From Broadway Limited, we had the Shark Nose diesel locomotives here. From Athlon, we had the UP Heritage, the SC70 ACEs. And then we had, again from Athlon, we had here the, uh, what was this, the DDA40X. We have the two UP versions and the Bicentennial version. But of course, if there was something that you were looking for that you didn't see in today's show, that's all right. You can always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in what you're looking for in that search bar so we can get it sent to you. So you have hours upon hours of railroading fun. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, click that subscribe button. See, you take your mouse, you hover, you click it. It's awesome. And then you're done. That's all you have to do. It's free. Uh, is that, it's free. I mean, you could click it as many times as you want. I don't think that helps us. But hey, you can do it if you want. So subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel. We're going to um, do one more layout as i said i've been asking people to give me ideas for my brand new train layout i'm making this was engineer hall's idea yes it was you just gave me an application to norfolk southern yeah absolutely right look i got you in a good spot there see that okay but here's the thing what's up this is not gonna fit my you know train room how about you do the real thing okay no why do i have to work for you you can work with me with you i'll think about it yeah i was Anyway, we're going to conclude today's Rail Fan video. We're going to take a look at a local freight train going through Morristown, New Jersey on the CSX line. Hope you enjoy. You see a couple diesel engines with some awesome rolling stock. And you probably build that stuff with things you see at Yankee Dabbler. So, enjoy our video. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go to the aquarium and pick up Christian because I don't want to get in too much mischief. All Hi, right? DJ. Good what Lord. in the what hell? hell? You? I got the ride in an ambulance. What, 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 what? I pet the shark. Oh, how about the fate? Yeah, and then the aquarium said I'm a band, but I don't know how to play music. Oh. Uh, I can't care wait my, to go back. I gotta take care of you. You're drooling all, blood all over here. I don't feel so good. Oh, no.